Hey guys, Shane Sorens with DroidForums.net. You know me better as DroidModder X, and today I'm going to show you guys signage of my 10 on the Razer HD. Now, most of you guys know that the bootloader has been officially unlocked. If you're running your consumer device with an unlocked bootloader and you have Team Win Recovery Project or Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, then you will be able to install Signage in Mod 10. Uh, most of you guys are familiar with this ROM. I'm going to do a quick rundown on the ROM and then show you guys how to install it on your Razer HD. So we'll go ahead and get started. First thing I want to do is pull up About Phone. And you'll see that we're running 4.2.1. This is not official CyanogenMod 10. Uh, this is Hashcode's latest version of CyanogenMod 10. And you guys can see the build number there. Now Hashcode and DHacker have said that further development will be for uh, the unlocked bootloader version of the Razer HD. So if you have not achieved bootloader unlock on your Razer HD, you'll want to do that quickly before Motorola patches it if you want to run ROMs in the future. So real quickly, we're going to look at a couple of features of this ROM. So we'll go back into settings. Uh, this ROM comes with the hotspot enabled. We'll look at our launcher. It comes with the Trebuchet launcher. You'll be able to change the grid size so that you can add more apps to your home screen. You can change the default screen and the number of home screens as well as add a transition effect. I prefer cube out, which looks like that. Jump back into settings. If we go into the lock screen, there's several settings. You have some security settings. You can turn on battery status. You can choose to maximize widgets and you can add slider shortcuts to the lock screen. Once you save those, those should show up on your lock screen like so. Under themes, you can add a theme on the fly. Any signage of my 10 or AOKP theme from the market. In system, you have several customizations. You can customize the status bar. Choose to show the clock or not. Choose the battery status style, signal style, and you can show the notification count. Quick settings panel, that would be uh, the toggles here. You can change those. You can add power widgets to your notification drawer, like so. There's some changes that can be made to the clock widget. You can change your navigation bar. You can add and remove buttons here. You can change the notification lights. So you can actually change the color of the notification light depending on what notification is coming in, Gmail, text message, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And you can change your battery light settings. In the app drawer, you'll see that it comes with Apollo, uh, DSP Manager, File Manager, Torch, Terminal Emulator, and it also comes with all of your 4.2 applications. The camera, if it were working, would have Photosphere. I saw where Hashcode had tweeted out a little while ago, probably a day ago, that he was working on a fix for the camera. Right now, it seems to not be working. Uh, you guys saw that when I opened it, it crashed. Uh, but it does include the... 4.2 keyboard. With gesture typing. And you guys can see how fast the ROM moves. Of course it does include some signage in mod 10 wallpapers. if you're into that sort of thing. Includes power options with a full reboot menu. We'll go ahead and reboot into recovery and flash the ROM. Now you'll need to make sure that you download the Signage Mod 10 ROM itself and G apps as well because you'll have to flash both of those in the same session. First thing you want to do is wipe. Factory reset swipe to wipe. Cache swipe to wipe. Dalvik cache swipe to wipe. And then you'll install, you're looking for the signage of mod 10. Now this is the unofficial build and I'm sure that uh, some more official builds will come along now that we have an unlocked bootloader. 
I'm hash codes working at getting all the bugs fixed. So you go ahead and flash that. Swipe to flash as soon as that's finished. Go ahead and flash your G apps. Swipe to confirm that flash. All right, guys, as soon as everything flashes, we'll go ahead and hit the back button to reboot system. So this has been Cyanage Mod 10 for the Razer HD. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage in the near future on this device. Lots of ROMs are coming out, so you'll definitely want to be sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the forums.